Hello, this is Avian speaking. I know my platinum tutorial wasn't that great. I am hoping this tutorial will be a bit better, but I might not be, might be. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a custom track ride, or CTR as it is abbreviated. And first off, open up the file that it hopefully come in, came in. Scroll down a little bit. First, find first look around a little bit until you find the empty template beginner. For the now, oh, for now, open up the coaster ride list by Slipboard in, in English or whatever language you speak. For um, unless you. Unless you plan on saving it into an, this your coaster into an area other than normal steel coasters, such as as junior rides, water coasters, stuff like that, you don't really need to open up the hey, create the tutorial. Now open up list of all track sections with tracks with add-ons or without add-ons. I have. Um, I'm going to open up the one with add-ons. Now, oh, for, before you close this file, open up the custom track ride creator, run it, and you can close that file for now. Now, hope, now your custom track ride bandit and thingamajig is here. Scroll down to track 5, which is the normal B&M track. I that's the one that's most popular although you can use other ones. Pre press control C and paste it onto the rock and paste it into the track section. Now, after that, you can close this list of all track sections and go to this. And now you can open up this ride list. As you can see, the text is pretty small, so you might want to zoom in, as you've hopefully guessed. Now, scroll down a little bit. Let's say I want you can't come up with your own names as for these cars as of yet, so you're forced to use the names on here. I'm going to just pick a random name. <laughs> now, no, I, now I'm going to. Now you have to pick the description. No, but which is what happens when you put your mouse over or the file in the game and the right icon. <sighs> Just you need usually need to scroll down a little bit for this. Just pick, just push in three here, and for the car type, her name, scroll down much, a bit farther. It shows you what the name of it is in the custom track ride, the creator, and in game. Usually go to the in game to find the name of it. Now, once you've found a name what the track that you like, scroll back over here or to the left and copy and paste the name in the custom track ride section. You can have usually as many as you want, but be careful because say an inverted Roller coaster won't work. Usually won't work on a normal uh, track. Oh, and I forgot to say something on the track five. You need to scroll down a little bit until you find inverted station.
once you find the inverted station, take the I and V off of it, and you're good to go as far as the track. As you can see, I stopped before I found it, and I should probably go scrolling around for it, but oh well. Now, once now sit once you have uh, you're ha once you're happy with the cars and etc uh, that you have on your list, you can now I'll go to file, save as. N now, be f be sure that you only take off the area between empty template beginner, and you can rename it there and save it. Close that. Close this. Read CTR bandan. Now, in here you should be you find it unless you've saved it to a different area. And I seem to have found it. You click this and then create ride OVLs and install ride OVLs into Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. If you want, I'm on a Vista, so this is this part is re, is for Vistas only. Otherwise, you can find it in the normal program files: Atari Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Platinum, um, or Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Track Track Rides. You should find your track in here on a normal HP, but for us Vistas, we have to go to admin which and then go to app data local um you you'll find m uh, quite a bit of stuff on here go down to virtual store program files atari roller coaster tycoon 3 or roller coaster tycoon 3 platinum go to tracks track rides and you'll find all of your cars your tracks on here for now i'm going to delete this most recent one and now you should be set. I hope this tutorial turned out better than my last one. Um, Avian, signing out.